all had an album out at the same time as the Ruttles came out and was forever saying, you know, no comment <laughs> you know, about the Ruttles. Agreed. They all agreed to, you know, with, you know, George said, you know, uh, this is happening and whatnot. They all agreed to release Shea Stadium footage and other footage and things like that and said, yeah, good luck to you. Because uh, I think they all wanted this, you know, the record put straight a little bit, even if it was, you know, slightly cockeyed. <laughs> Ruddles, as we talk with Neil Ennis on your ticket to ride. Stay with us, because I'm coming back with more Beatles and Ruddles music, including cheese and onions. When your ticket to ride, Ruddles on. Your ticket to ride, and my guest this week is Neil Ennis, Ron Nasty of the Ruddles. Maybe the nicest part of the entire Ruddles saga is they told the Beatles story, making fun of the good times and skipping the bad times altogether. That was the big thing about the Ruttles, you know, the, the real story was too sad to tell. In fact, I feel very sorry for Neil Aspinall, who'd actually put together a very informed and balanced and, uh, you know, well-made film of the, the whole period. I don't know what, uh, whether it's seen the light of day or not, but George had a copy and, and showed it to Eric and I, and we watched it, and went along with it, you know, until Leggy dies. And, uh, you know, it all gets miserable. And you know, feel, what a downer, you know. And so uh, it was a kind of way of telling the story without, you know, downing an audience, you know, and, uh, like, skipping over the, the sad bits. I think, um, you know, awesome in, in just their simplicity and power. You know, the song like, I'm looking through you, you know, instead of, why tell me why do you not treat me right? Love has a nasty habit of disappearing overnight. You know, it's just, it's just you know, Lennon, and, and you, when, when confronted with sort of like genius like that, you know, if you're not affected, and, and even though it's a spoof, if you can't put some of that heart back in, you know, you're not doing your job. John Lennon's I'm Looking Through You as we spend time with Neil Ennis on Ticket to Ride. Even though Neil's character was based on John, maybe his most brilliant Ruddle song was Double Back Alley, a song based on Paul's Penny Lane. There were various millstones in the, um, in the progress of the Beatles, and that one was almost like a documentary song, you know, like a documentary film. It sort of had so many images, images, and... Um, and I thought I'd write a song about that kind of song, which looks back at things. People were proud in double black alley. Neighbors were loud, but ever so proud. Double back alley. The Ruddles' answer to Penny Lane as we talk with Neil Ennis. Now, if you don't think Neil sounds like John Lennon, that's okay. But somebody did. Because one Ruddle song, Cheese and Onions, actually turned up on a Beatles bootleg album. I was suddenly rang up by a reporter from the NME saying, the Ruttles have come out and there's a bootleg Beatle album and there's one song on there that's identical to a Ruttles track. What have you got to say for yourself? And it's, I said, what's it called? He says, it's called Cheese and Onions. I said, come on. You know, well, what have you got to say for that? I said, well... When do you, you know, when, when does this album come out? You know, it said, oh, just recently, there's one, you know. I said, well, put the record straight, sometimes, somewhere, like, must have been 75, 76. 
I wrote this song um, and I did it on Saturday Night Live as part of a thing. And I, I think that this version has ended up on a Beatle bootleg album. <laughs> oh, <laughs> the scoop disappeared before his very eyes. got a Ruddles trivia question for you. Well, actually, all this is trivia, but this is a trivia question. Do you know the name of the fifth Ruddle? I'll be back with the answer when your Ticket to Rut concludes. Come back to Ticket to Ride. I'm Scott Muni. I left you with a Ruddle trivia question. I wanted to know the name of the fifth Ruddle. There was Nasty, Dirk McQuickley, Stig O'Hara, Barry Wom, and... The fifth ruttle was Leppo. And Ollie Holsall was, you know, the fifth ruttle, <laughs> Leppo. And uh, you know, Ollie Holsall is one of these infuriating geniuses, you know, bang two bricks together, that sounds good. We spent a lot of time on this show hearing friends share their unique memories of the Beatles. But maybe no guest we've ever had has spent so much time and talent paying tribute to the Beatles. My thanks to Neil Ennis for giving us his thoughts and feelings, not only on this show, but for his work with the Ruddles themselves. If you have a question or a comment for me, send it to Scott Muni's Ticket to Ride, Box 775, Bryn Mawr, Pennsylvania, 19010. And speaking of letters, next week I'm going to dig through the Ticket to Ride mailbag and answer some of the questions you've been sending. We'll also feature music from the newly released Beatles CDs. So I hope you'll be able to join me for that. Till next week, I'm Scott Minnie. Thanks for joining me on Your Ticket to Ride. The executive producer of Scott Muni's Ticket to Ride is Denny Somak. This program was written by Kevin Gunn with production by Sal DeLeo, research by Ken Sharp. Scott Muni's Ticket to Ride was produced by Tom Couch for Denny Somak Productions and is an exclusive presentation of DIR Broadcasting.